Witness Lee was a Christian teacher and writer who realized the local church movement. According to his teachings, Christ is the embodiment of God, the Son of God, and the Savior of the world. He is the Word of God made flesh, who came to dwell among men, to reveal God to them, and to provide salvation through his death and resurrection. Lee emphasized the importance of experiencing Christ personally and living a life that is centered on him. He taught that Christ is not only a historical figure, but a living reality who can be known and experienced by believers today. According to Witness Lee, the local church is a group of believers who gather together in a specific locality to practice the Christian faith and live out the teachings of the Bible. Lee believed that the local church should be a manifestation of the universal church, which is made up of all true believers in Jesus Christ. The local church, according to Lee, is characterized by a strong emphasis on the personal experience of Christ, the practice of the priesthood of all believers, and the importance of the church as a spiritual family. Lee taught that the local church should be independent of any external denominational organization and should be led by a group of elders who are chosen by the members of the church. Lee's teachings on the local church were controversial and have been criticized by some for their exclusivity and for promoting a sectarian spirit. However, his followers continue to practice his teachings and view the local church as a unique expression of body of Christ. According to Witness Lee, the body of Christ refers to the spiritual organism that is made up of all true believers in Jesus Christ. Lee believed that the body of Christ is not a physical entity, but a spiritual reality that exists in the realm of the spirit. Lee taught that the body of Christ is a living organism that is composed of many members, each with its unique function and purpose. He emphasized the importance of every believer discovering and fulfilling their role in the body of Christ, and working together in unity to accomplish God's purposes. Lee also believed that the body of Christ is the expression of Christ on the earth, and that it is through the body that Christ carries out his work in the world. He taught that the body of Christ should be characterized by love, humility, and mutual care, and that it should be a witness to the world of the reality and power of Christ. Overall, Lee's teachings on the body of Christ emphasize the importance of the church as a spiritual entity, and the need for believers to work together in unity and love to fulfill God's purposes on the earth. Yes, according to Witness Lee, the church is the bride of Christ. Lee believed that the relationship between Christ and the church is like that of a bridegroom and bride, and that the ultimate destiny of the church is to be united with Christ in an eternal marriage. Lee taught that the church was purchased by Christ's blood on the cross, and that it is through his sacrifice that the church is made pure and holy. He emphasized the importance of believers living a life of consecration and devotion to Christ, in preparation for the marriage of the Lamb. Lee also believed that the church should be characterized by a deep love for Christ, and a desire to be united with him in a relationship of intimacy and devotion. He taught that the church's ultimate destiny is to be with Christ forever, and that it is through the church that Christ will be fully expressed and glorified. Overall, Lee's teachings on the church as the bride of Christ emphasize the importance of the church's relationship with Christ, and the need for believers to live a life of devotion and consecration in preparation for their ultimate destiny. According to Witness Lee, the bridal army of Christ refers to a group of believers who are fully consecrated to Christ and who are actively engaged in spiritual warfare against the forces of darkness. Lee believed that the bridal army is made up of those who have been fully transformed by Christ and who are living a life of complete dedication to Him. Lee taught that the bridal army is characterized by a deep love for Christ, a willingness to suffer for Him, and a desire to see His kingdom established on the earth. He believed that the bridal army is called to be a witness to the world of the reality and power of Christ, and to engage in spiritual warfare against the forces of darkness. Lee also taught that the bridal army is closely connected to the bride of Christ, and that both groups are ultimately united in their devotion to Christ. He believed that the bridal army is called to play a vital role in the end-time move of God, and that it is through their consecration and dedication that God's purposes will be fulfilled on the earth. Overall. Lee's teachings on the bridal army of Christ emphasize the importance of believers living a life of complete devotion to Christ, and the need for the church to engage in spiritual warfare against the forces of darkness. The local church, also known as the Lord's Recovery, is a Christian movement that was realized by Witness Lee in the 20th century. The local church emphasizes the importance of the church as a spiritual entity, and seeks to recover what it sees as the original practice and teaching of the early church. The Lord's Recovery believes that the church should be a manifestation of the universal church, which is made up of all true believers in Jesus Christ. 
They stress the importance of the personal experience of Christ, the practice of the priesthood of all believers, and the importance of the church as a spiritual family. The local church also emphasizes the importance of the Bible as the authoritative source of Christian teaching, and believes in the practice of expository preaching and teaching. They reject the idea of denominationalism and believe that the church should be independent of any external denominational organization. The Lord's Recovery also emphasizes the importance of the practical expression of Christ's life through the church, and believes in the practice of the Lord's Table as a central part of the church's worship. They also believe in the importance of prayer, both individually and corporately, and in the practice of prophesying as a means of edification and building up of the church. Overall, the local church Lord's Recovery emphasizes the importance of the church as a spiritual entity, and seeks to recover what it sees as the original practice and teaching of the early church. They emphasize the importance of the personal experience of Christ, the practice of the priesthood of all believers, and the importance of the church as a spiritual family.